Welcome to Lead to Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And um, it's all in 720p goodness now. Though, if you're watching it on the, well, if you're watching it on several of the, the, the places that this is uh, distributed on, they may not have the HD content uh, quality, maybe under flash and all that. But I'm going to experiment a little bit with some 720p. Um, and then if I really like the con if I really like how it looks and the file size isn't too big, may graduate to 1080. So um, anyway, let's uh, start off with this wine. So uh, I went the other day. I went and bought some more wine, and uh, in addition to the world market wine, so I went to the local grocery store and uh, bought some more wine. So uh, we've got a few of those that I'll be recording today. So for this for the next few uh, episodes. This is one of them. This is called Palo Alto. Uh, this is the 2008 Palo Alto um, Sauvignon Blanc. And they put Reserva on the label and it's from Chile. Now this particular wine is from an area known as the Male Valley, which is in the Central Valley or the Valley Central part of Chile. And um, I don't have too much else about the winery. Uh, it's fairly new. It was uh, founded in 2006, and the wine is aged for two to three months in uh, stainless steel tanks. So let's check it out. So I'm getting your typical citrusy, almost tropical fruit aromas. Kind of pineapple-y, um, I don't really get any type of grass. It might be in there a little bit. Oh, you hear the dog and the birds chirping in the background? I don't know, maybe you do. Maybe he's barking at the birds. All right, so let's check it out, see how it tastes. Forgot to mention, $11.49 at HEB. Yeah, I went above the budget. Though it was already on the little lower third thing there. So it's got a, a tanginess to it. It's the acid. Um, the acid really kind of goes all over. Though, it was like a little part right in the very tip of my tongue that gets a lot of the acid, and then it just kind of goes all over the place. Um, I'm getting more of that citrusy type of fruit flavors to it. Nothing very, very specific. You know, really lemony. Like, very, very lemon like, lemon lime. Not like Sprite or 7-Up. Very tart. I would say it would probably benefit from a little cooling because it won't be so, it won't be so Tart, it's like it's like um, it's like you know getting one of those sour candies. Um, the other day at work, 
we were doing uh we were making some drinks and uh a guest said that the long island was was too wasn't made right so taste taste it and tasted like one of those little those little lemon you know those little lemon candies are very very tart and very lemony this has a quality very similar to that but it's not like lemony it's just the tartness from it so like i said it would probably benefit from a little bit of cooling if it was maybe about 10 degrees cooler it would kind of tone that down a little bit uh wouldn't be so overwhelming uh probably would feel more balanced but um I like it. I don't think it's spectacular. I don't think it's a 90 point or 90 plus point wine, but uh, at least not for me. But uh, I think it's pretty good. Um, I enjoy it. It'd probably benefit if it was open for a little bit longer. I mean, it's been open for a while, but remember, not much surface area there to. Uh, to really interact. I mean, it's softening a little more. I mean, as, as either I'm getting used to it because it was that initial attack or it's starting to soften a little more with the interaction with the air. It's starting to kind of calm down a little bit. I'm going to say we're going to go with 86. Um, I was probably going to go a little bit lower, but as it was, it seems like it's opening up or calming down or it's kind of softening a little bit. Um, like I said, it could be as if I'm just getting used to that initial attack, but, um, it, it's pretty good. I like to say it's, it's, there's, a, there's a lot of lemon type quality to it. Um, kind of tangy. I mean, it's it's got a tanginess I think is really good. So I like it. 86 points. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Not much, really. Um, just going to record a lot of shows today. Uh, i got to get sommelier school out. Uh, California, uh, that's probably going to be... A total of two hours worth of video so it's gonna be a two-week process it I'm sure um, but it also might be just like the past few lessons might be two videos on one page and uh, looking at the information that I need to cover for the other three states uh, I might be able to do a little combining of a couple states maybe like combine Washington and Oregon especially since they do share an AVA um, and then New York might be its own thing. And those might, and New York might be a, a shorter, may not be an hour long, maybe closer to that 30 minute typical lesson. Um, but yeah, California, it's, probably gonna, it's definitely gonna take two lessons worth, but they might be really long lessons as far as video. I don't plan on shooting that in high def quite yet, really just because those videos by themselves are pretty big. Um, and it's only distributed on the website, so I'm not really concerned about the better quality. I want to just experiment with the 720p because with the TiVo distribution, I, I think it, 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 my my intention is so that it looks better on television, and um, hopefully that will work. Um, other than that, just as usual, friend me up. We're getting more and more iTunes subscribers, uh, which is wonderful. So you guys are clicking, coming to the website, clicking that link, or you're trying, to, or you're just finding me on iTunes. If you type 1337 wine, I, I, I'm the first, I'm the only one. Um, if you just type wine. I'm starting to show up in, in the top lists. Um, and just a little side note, there's really only two of us that have been putting out lots of content and that have kept putting out lots of, oh, I'm sorry, three of us. Um, there are three of us that, I, that I've seen that are on iTunes that have, have stuck with putting out content. There's some other people that put out, put out some content, put out maybe 10, 20, 30 podcasts and then they haven't done anything for like six to nine to 12 months or longer. So um, I've been doing this for almost a year now. We got another month, another I think six weeks before we hit the one year anniversary. So um, uh, I'm definitely excited and looking forward to that. Um, I thank all of you for watching. Tell more of your friends, friend me up on Twitter, Facebook. I know I have all the other social networking stuff on there. I don't really hit them as much, but uh, friend me up on those, let your friends know, and uh, drink some good wine. We'll see everybody again next time.